Piti A2020 Firenze abbiamo incontrato James Kay uh, di TripAdvisor. Hi James! Hi. Can, nice can you tell me something? Uh, the, the, um, why are you here in BTO 2020? And your, uh, um, are you based in London and you are? Yeah, so uh, I'm James Kay. I'm Director of Communications at TripAdvisor. Uh, I'm based uh, in the London office. Uh, but I'm here today at BTO to really to talk to, to businesses uh, about how we moderate reviews. So it's a question we get a lot from businesses all over the world. And so we're really trying to be more open and transparent about the processes we have in place to moderate reviews. We get lots of questions about it. So I was explaining to the audience today all about how we use technology in a really smart way alongside a team of expert moderators um, really to filter reviews and ensure that they're relevant and useful for our travel community. So we use um, technology, we call it a review analysis system uh, and that system uh, really looks at every single review that comes into the site uh, and it basically decides uh, whether that review will uh, be posted, whether it will be rejected or whether it will go to our team of investigators to take a much closer look and they will do a deeper assessment of that review um, and they will uh, uh, really uh, be able to determine whether or not the review uh, meets our guidelines or not and allows it to be posted. So, uh, and there's a, if anyone's interested in more information and more detail, there's a, a 2019 transparency report. You can find it on the TripAdvisor blog. Uh, there's an Italian copy as well. Uh, and that really has a lot of information, a lot of data, and some of the numbers as well behind how many reviews uh, we rejected, how many we posted uh, in one year. Can you tell us a, a percentage? Yeah, so uh, we, so the 2019 uh, transparency report looked at a whole year's worth of data. During that time, TripAdvisor had 66 million review submissions, so you can see the enormous scale that we're operating at. And of those, over 3 million were actually rejected or removed by our moderation processes. So either by our review analysis system or by our expert human moderators. This new development on, uh, on the transparencies, do you think it will work better and better in the future? Um, more transparencies and which percentage do you think you will reach in 2020 or 21 or... Yeah, well, it's hard to pre predict uh, future percentages, but, but certainly in terms of being more open uh, to businesses to, to help them understand how our system works and the, the, the approaches that we're taking, that's something we're, we're definitely going to be doing more of. We have a TripAdvisor Insights blog, and all of the articles are in Italian, which goes into a lot more uh, detail and information, and there's actual case studies on there of examples of some of the investigations our team has done. So it's really worth... Well, if you're interested in more information, going there to check out uh, some of those articles. Thank you very much and arrivederci. Thank you.